It's over for the crypto exchange powerhouse, FTX. Its founder, Sam Bankman-Fried, aka SBF, just suffered the worst single day loss ever for a billionaire, but more on that later. Hi, my name is Sam, and this is my story. It was the battle of the two crypto titans, with one man coming out on top, and that's the founder of Binance, Changpeng Zhao, aka CZ. The news sent shockwave through the crypto universe, causing many of the top coins to incur double-digit losses. This is shocking because back in May, when the crypto market was crashing, he swooped in with loans for failing businesses like Voyager and BlockFi in the tunes of hundreds of millions of dollars. SBF now joins a slew of other crypto giants that went bust in 2022. He was considered to be the JP Morgan of the modern era and a top dog crypto billionaire. Being the founder of two companies, FTX and Alameda Research, which are both behemoths in the crypto space. FTX was the third largest crypto exchange by trading volume, and they were valued at $32 billion in a fundraising round at the beginning of the year. Their logo was everywhere in pro sports, from the NBA to MLB to NFL to Formula One. And in March of last year, FTX US signed a 19-year, $135 million naming rights agreement for the Miami Heat's home to become FTX Arena. In fact, FTX even worked with NFL superstar Tom Brady in a Super Bowl commercial, and he ended up investing their $650 million fortune for maximum exposure with FTX. I'm getting into crypto. With FTX? You in? I don't think so. There was no doubt FTX was beginning to be ingrained in the minds of the American public. On the other hand, Alameda Research is a crypto trading firm, and it was one of the most successful crypto hedge fund and market maker in the industry. Although they are two separate companies, there were rumors that FTX were funneling money to Alameda and letting them play with customer funds. They are now both in tremendous trouble and insolvency. The whole fiasco started with this Coindesk article that was published last week, exposing the balance sheet of Alameda Research with having $14.6 billion in questionable assets against $8 billion of liabilities. The assets in question included $5.82 billion worth of FTT, which is the token they printed out of thin air and centrally controlled by FTX used for discounts in their exchange fees. But just a week ago, the total market cap of FTT was $3.35 billion. It was then used to borrow funds, which is where much of the $8 billion in liabilities come from. This is the equivalent to McDonald's making its own money by issuing, let's call it clown bucks. They keep most of it, sell some to the market, and use the rest as collateral to borrow real money. People forget it isn't real money. As of now, FTT has faltered by over 90% in the past week. And it's gone! Other notable assets include $2 billion worth of Solana, of which $863 million were locked in illiquid. This means that a large portion of its net equity is tied to completely illiquid altcoins that would be impossible to convert into cash. And of course, the price of Solana has taken a nosedive after recent news. Their creditors are now in serious trouble with getting their money back. But before we dive into his actions, which is what pretty much initiated this whole collapse, I just want to take the time and say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy crypto content like I do, feel free to turn on all notifications for this channel as I'll be releasing a lot more videos like this very soon. I'd also really appreciate it if you can hit that like button as it'll really help my channel grow. All right, with that out of the way, we need to first understand the dynamic between the two founders. CZ founded Binance in 2017, and it quickly became the largest crypto exchange in the world, making him the richest man in crypto. In 2019, however, FTX was the new kid on the block, and it was clear that SBF was a guy on the same level playing field as CZ. Being the intelligent business mastermind as he was, CZ quickly decided to invest in FTX. However, as FTX continued their explosive growth during the last bull market, CZ began to sense that they were becoming a looming threat. This is why Binance chose not to invest in FTX during its 900 million Series B funding round, Binance exited the deal and received $2.1 billion worth of FTT and BUSD as payment. SBF realizes that the only way for FTX to potentially one day beat Binance is to win over regulators, which is why he is one of the biggest donors in not just crypto the industry, but in US politics overall. He was even the second largest donor to Joe Biden's presidential campaign. Since CZ was born in China and there are rumors of Chinese involvement with Binance, SBF weaponized his leverage over the US politicians and took a stab at CZ due to the growing tension between the US and China. But CZ was patient and he would get two openings to go on the offensive. The first was this proposal by SBF regarding crypto regulation, which was met with severe backlash by the crypto community. He was calling for decentralized protocols to be regulated like centralized companies, which would defeat the purpose purpose of decentralization, but benefit his company immensely. Many were claiming that SBF was trying to kill DeFi and pushing for regulatory overreach. SBF was suddenly an enemy of crypto. 
annihilate, kill, kill. The second opening was that Coindesk article mentioned earlier. Then CZ went full on Game of Thrones on them, tweeting out that they were selling their entire bag of FTT tokens due to recent revelations. It seemed that SBF had crossed the line as CZ tweeted out another devastating blow by comparing this experience with a Terra Luna crash that wiped out the crypto market in May. These tweets caused the price of FTT to crash as well as FTX users to go on a massive bank run, withdrawing $6 billion from the exchange. Like I was saying, it's FTX. It's a safe and easy way to get into crypto. Yeah, I don't think so. And I'm never wrong about this stuff. Never. In just one day after CZ's tweets, SBF's net worth dropped from $15.6 billion to less than $1 billion, a staggering 94% loss, which is the largest single-day collapse of wealth ever among billionaires tracked by Bloomberg. That was a wicked wipeout! Going back to the McDonald's analogy, Binance is Starbucks, and they begin selling their entire stash of clown bucks while reminding the market that clown bucks aren't really a thing. McDonald's's balance sheet is trashed, and their clown bucks wiped out. Full credit to Lynn Alden for this amazing and Analogy. What shocked the crypto world was that within 24 hours of FTX's spectacular downfall, it was announced that the rival Binance intended to buy them out. However, another 24 hours later, Binance appears to have walked away, stating that FTX's issues were beyond their control and their ability to help. I'm walking away! It seemed it couldn't get any worse for FTX, but it looks like the firm suffered a $600 million hack after declaring for bankruptcy. After these events, CZ promises to implement proof of reserves, which should set industry standards for more transparency. Exchanges can no longer just say, trust me, bro. The question now remains, if FTX is crypto's version of the Lehman Brothers, who are its counterparties that are yet to unravel? In 2008, after Lehman's collapse, companies like AIG, Fannie Mae, and Freddie Mac started falling like dominoes. SBF was the poster child for crypto on Wall Street, and FTX had dealings with numerous firms that are undoubtedly in trouble. Crypto is experiencing a massive shakeout right now. And although I continue to be bullish long term, I think it's going to be a while before we see sunshine again. I hope everyone stays safe out there. And let me know in the comment section below how you guys think this is going to play out. It looks like the SEC is now also investigating FTX. And so you should check out my other video here that I go into more detail on what they're doing to the crypto space. I hope you enjoy. I'll catch you on the next journey.